Hello, my friends. It's Chris, the Batman statue collector. Hope everybody's doing great out there. And we're back with another hit or miss video all here on the Batman statue collector channel. Again, your home for all things high end statue collecting reviews, unboxing statue chats, and so much more. Uh, last week, we did a hit or miss video on this particular statue. Well, kind of the uh, black suit version. And again, this is from our friends over at Queen Studios. This is a one for scale piece. And I mentioned that we at least had been teased that they were going to do a white suit version and that's exactly what we are getting not only is it a white suit it's also a different portrait which is very very different the black suit version has kind of braids uh, doesn't have the long hair but this one does and so it's definitely a different look and I think this one to be quite honest, I think this one is the better piece. I really like the fact that it's got the white suit. It shows off the details way, way more. Of course, the white suit is not as traditional in terms of Black Widow, but I think that this looks fantastic. Also, we talked about this on Rogue's Gallery Live. Some people out there, and you might be one of them, that doesn't think this looks anything like Scarlett Johansson. I think you have to be crazy because I think this absolutely looks like her. I think it is a beautiful portrait. Now, some people have said, well, maybe it looks, uh, maybe she looks a little bit young. I, I could see that. I think that's fair. But there's no question that this is Scarlett Johansson. Uh, again, if you don't think so, <laughs> maybe you need to have your eyes checked because I think it looks pretty darn impressive. Is it 100% perfect? No. But I think it's very, very impressive for a polystone piece. Again, this is not silicone, but look at that. It is absolutely beautiful. And yes, I do think that maybe she looks a little bit young here, but I think it's a beautiful, beautiful statue. And again, at this price point, uh, Queen Studios is really wowing us with these prices. And I really do not think you can go wrong with this piece. So for me, right off the bat, it is a big, big hit here. Again, I really do like the details because the black suit looks great. And if you've pre-ordered it, congratulations. But it's hard to see the detail whenever you're talking about, uh, you know, darker color statues. Uh, I own a lot of Batman statues, so believe me, I know from a distance it's it's hard to pick up that detail. Whereas this one is really going to shine because it is really bright white. And again, this movie maybe you didn't love it. I thought it was entertaining, but it is a very specific look for this movie. Again, you don't see this in the Avengers movies, um, but I really do like it. And again, you can really see the texturing. I mean, look at the texturing throughout the entire suit. Um, it just really pops way, way more in my opinion. Um, I feel like the body is beautifully sculpted. Again, the body itself is identical. The weapons, the pose, everything is identical. It's literally just painted differently. Um, but I really like this one, and I especially like the longer hair. Um, the braids looked great on the other one. Um, you know, obviously she had long hair in that one as well. But I really like the hair in the front. I just think it really shows her off, and I just, I just think it's more attractive to me. Um, but look at the detail here. Look at the texturing. Uh, obviously, you have the weapon on her thigh, but you can really see the detail, like I said, even more in this suit. Um, she does look really great from all angles. Um, and so this is a piece that, you know, you can definitely have spinning on a 360 spin if you wanted to. But uh, again, if you are a collector of Marvel pieces, I do think that this one is a no-brainer, again, at this price point. Um, I do like her attitude. Uh, you know, we talked a little bit in the last video about, you know, it's it's she's looking up, so it might be a little bit hard to display, but it is taken from the posters, uh, from the promotional uh, material, and I really like her attitude walking forward. I think it's really cool that they did that. They could have easily done a museum boring pose, but this one really shows her off in a really, really nice way. Now, I will say from top to bottom, I think that this statue is worth it. I think this, especially look at that price point. Again, $7.95 for something like this. Um, there might be some companies that would have charged over $1,000 for this, um, but I think it's really impressive. It does also go for pre-order this week, November 3rd of 2021, depending on when you're watching this video. And I just, again, I think it's a no-brainer piece if you're a fan of her, especially, or if you're just a fan of Marvel pieces in general. I think this is really going to look great in your collection, whether you get the black or the white um, and I've heard some people uh, you know they're considering getting both uh, which is really really cool uh, addition size on this is 600 pieces which is not very many worldwide and again at that 795 price point I think this one will go very very quickly and again I personally really think this is a hit I think that uh, the white suit version is by far the better of the two but again, I do want to turn it over to you. What do you guys think about that? Uh, which piece do you like better? 
uh, which piece uh, are you going to pick up if you are? And um, also, uh, do you disagree with me about the portraits? Uh, again, I know some of you out there, you really don't see it. You, you don't think it looks anything like her. Again, I just think it looks really close to spot on. Um, and uh, most of my friends agree with me, but I know some people out there might see her a little bit differently. But again, I tip my hat to Queen Studios. The fact that this is not silicone and is sculpted, it really just goes to show you how next level these companies are becoming. And I tip my hat to the Queen Studios artists because I think this one is absolutely fantastic. Again, I'm turning it over to you. What do you guys think about it? Let me know in the comments. Otherwise, just thank you guys so very much for taking time out of your day to watch this content. It means the world to me. Uh, if you are new here, please make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, click that notification bell, make sure, make sure you choose all. And uh, again, if you want to take it one step further, hit that join button down below for early access to our videos and other perks like our bat boxes and everything else. But again, thank you for taking time out of your day to watch. It means the world to me. And and again, please leave your comments down below. See you guys next time right here in the Batcave. Bye, everybody. Hey guys, thank you so very much for watching today. And if you're new here, please hit the subscribe button right here on the screen and check out these two awesome videos. I think you're going to love them. And also please join us on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. I would love to have you join in all the fun. Thank you guys so very much for watching. See you in the Batcave.